In this video, we will walk through the steps to safely service your clean and clear bus filter from Pentair. This information can also be found in the installation and user's guide or on the side of the filter on the warning labels. If you have any questions or concerns after watching this video, please contact a pool professional. Now, let's talk about pool safety. The Pentair Clean and Clear or Clean and Clear RP filter incorporates several important safety features. Before attempting to service the filter, please familiarize yourself with the installation and user's guide that came with the filter. You should also review all warning labels on the outside of the filter housing and locking ring. If you observe a warning sticker to be faded, peeling, or otherwise difficult to read, please contact your pool professional for a replacement. Trapped air can present a serious safety hazard in your pool filter. If the trapped air is not released, it will compress and build pressure on the filter lid, potentially resulting in a violent separation of the lid from the base. If you are standing near the filter when that happens, you could be seriously injured or killed. Your Clean and Clear Plus filter incorporates important safety features that can prevent this from happening. How do you know when it's time to clean your filter? Your pool filter will operate with the lowest pressure right after it has been cleaned. Here, you can see that the pressure needle aligns with the start arrow on the bezel. When the pressure reads between 8 to 10 PSI higher than the start pressure, that means the filter is getting clogged with debris and needs to be cleaned. When the needle is at or near the clean filter arrow, it's time to clean your filter. After cleaning, make sure to turn the bezel so that the arrow lines up with the needle on the pressure gauge. That way, the bezel will be set to indicate the next time your filter needs to be cleaned. Plan to set aside at least 30 minutes to complete the process of disassembling, cleaning, reassembling, and restarting your filter. Before getting started, it's important to put the automation system into service mode so that the system doesn't unexpectedly start when you're not ready. If your system doesn't have automation, you can skip this step. Next, make sure to shut off power to all pool features at the breakers in your control panel. This is an important safety step because you don't want anything to come on until you have completed your work and are ready to restart the system. After shutting off the power at the control panel, open the high flow manual air relief valve on top of the filter by turning it one quarter turn counterclockwise until it is in the full open position. This will release the vacuum in the system and allow you to remove the filter lid from the base. Open the drain plug on the bottom of the filter and allow all water to drain from the bottom of the tank. You may need to use a socket wrench to remove the plug. Make sure to use a 7 8 socket or box end wrench to avoid damaging the plug. Once the water has drained and the pressure gauge reads zero, remove the lock ring by gripping and releasing the spring-loaded safety catches on both sides of the ring. Then, rotate it counterclockwise. Remove the filter lid by lifting it from the top. If the lid is tightly sealed to the filter body, you can gently bump the lid to separate it from the tank base. Place the lid in a clean place while servicing your filter. To avoid exposing it to debris and yard waste, we recommend using a tarp. Remove the filter cartridge assembly by jostling it loose from the base and lifting straight up. Now it's time to clean the cartridge. Use a garden hose with a spray attachment and spray out the cartridge on a clean, hard surface. Rotate the cartridge as you go. Hold the hose at a downward 45 degree angle. Wash top to bottom and make sure to spray between the pleats. You may also need to clean the inside of the cartridge for thorough cleaning. It is a good idea to occasionally soak your cartridges for at least an hour in a cleaning solution to get rid of suntan lotion and other oils. We recommend using a commercial filter cleaner, such as the one shown here. Make sure to read the instructions that come with the cleaner packet. To save water, we recommend filling your container halfway, then flipping the cartridge after one end of it has soaked for the labeled amount of time. After both ends of the cartridge have been fully soaked, rinse with clean water. Before reinserting the clean cartridge, Spray out the bottom manifold and tank bottom to make sure they're free of debris. 
Wipe the O-ring and O-ring groove on the tank bottom with a soft, clean rag. Reinsert the support tube into the tank bottom, making sure it is fully sealed. Make sure the internal air relief screen sock is attached to the top of the support tube. Now, reinstall the clean cartridge over the support tube. It is a good idea to periodically lubricate the O-ring with a silicon lubricant to keep it from drying and cracking. Use a small amount of silicon and wipe it evenly around the entire circumference of the O-ring. Place the lid over the O-ring. Make sure to press down on the lid to seat the O-ring. Having the lid fully seated on the O-ring will make it easier to thread the lock ring. Make sure the instruction and warning labels are facing front and are easily legible before you replace the lock ring. Place the lock ring over the lid and center it on the threads of the tank bottom. Then, rotate the lock ring clockwise onto the threads. Continue turning the lock ring clockwise until the safety latches click and the lock ring hits the stops on the body. Replace the drain cap, hand tighten only. It is critically important to open the manual air relief valve before restoring power to the system. This will evacuate the air in the filter and prevent a dangerous buildup of trapped air. Turn the air relief valve one quarter turn counterclockwise to the full open position. Make sure that the valve outlet is directed away from electrical connections to avoid a potential electrocution hazard. Turn the breakers back to the on position at the control panel. Turn off service mode and start the pump. Make sure you are a safe distance away from the filter when you start the pump. When a steady stream of water is flowing from the air relief valve as seen here, that means the trapped air has been evacuated and that it is safe to close the valve. Close the valve. The system has been successfully restarted and is ready to use. The system is not working properly if either of the following conditions occur. A solid stream of water does not appear within 30 seconds after the pump's inlet basket fills with water. The pressure gauge indicates pressure before water outflow appears. Always turn off the power. Open the manual air relief valve to relieve all of the pressure. Stand clear of the filter and wait until all pressure is relieved and the pressure gauge reads zero before attempting to address any leaks you observe from the filter. If any leaking problem persists, call Pentair Technical Service for assistance. Please remember to follow the steps in this video to safely service your clean and clear filter. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact a pool professional, visit Pentair.com, or call Pentair Technical Support. Thank you.